Now this is actually kind of cool. Now those not familiar with this channel, uh, we often deal with uh, prototyping, pilot studies, uh, things that may become breakthroughs in the future before they actually become breakthroughs. You're here on TV and things along those lines. In this case, what we're looking at is an incredible, incredible uh, potential of an herb called Withania coagulum in regard to blood sugar control. All right, now the chart you see right here is basically improvements in blood sugars. And to give you a little bit of perspective, this is after a five day period of time. Now the one in the middle is a very popular diabetic drug. I don't want to mention names for various reasons. And number two, obviously, the, well, you have your control, which you don't see any improvement. And then number two, you have with coagulum, which is C, way outperformed, way outperformed, a very popular diabetic drug. Now here's the kicker. The light gray right there you see represents a five day period of time in which either the drug or the herb was administered. The dark part of the bar and part of the bar graph is what happened after they stopped the administration of the herb or the drug. Now, the reason with Thania coagulin could have kept an improving blood sugar control even afterwards could be due to the way they uh, microencapsulated, in this case, nanopartic uh, created nanoparticles uh, with Thania coagulin in order to enhance the absorption of the small intestine utilizing a substance called chitosom. And so that's a possibility, but still just the same, totally, totally blowing away a very popular drug. Now let's go back to the backstory. I'm going to read you a little bit of an excerpt from the full study as you look at the graph here. It goes, quote, now keep in mind this is also known as Indian cheesemaker. I may mispronounce this, but please forgive me, Panera Duri, uh, Doda, or Duda, uh, Indian rennet or vegetable rennet. All right, but let's go to the little backstory. In the recent decade, there have been reports on plant extracts exhibiting anti-diabetic properties with thonia coagulans, uh, as pointed out, is one such plant, whose extracts have traditionally been used in the coagulation of milk to make Indian cheese and also been used in the traditional Indian system of medicine due to its numerous, numerous, and I mean numerous, as you go to research with thonia coagulans, it's actually phenomenal, uh, therapeutic properties. The use of such extracts in the management of diabetes may be preferred over existing drugs, especially if proven to be more efficacious and safer. And henceforth, the study and the outcome. All right, let's get right into the research as follows. Encapsulated Indian medicinal herb shows anti-diabetic properties in mice. Extracts of the herb with aniacoagulins, or again, forgive the pronunciation, Panera Duty or Dodi are used in traditional Indian medicine. Although some healers claim that withania coagulans can help treat diabetes, the bitter tasting plant hasn't been studied extensively by scientists. Now researchers have found that the herbal extracts packaged in polymers, the remember chitosom, derived from natural substances can reduce blood glucose levels in diabetic mice. All right, we're gonna to go to the end of the public release and then we're gonna to go to the full study because it explains a little bit better details with the, with the abstract. But still, to proceed, from the berries of Withania coagulin, the team extracted plant steroid compounds and increased insulin secretion by mouse pancreatic cells in a dish. The researchers encapsulated the steroids in chitosan plants, not, don't confuse with other stuff, in chitosan nanoparticles made from shellfish exoskeletons and coated the particles with starch, which delayed the release of the herbal extract under acidic conditions. Remember, they're trying to get it absorbed uh, past the stomach gas into the small intestine more effectively. Finally, diabetic mice that were fed the nanoparticles for five days showed about a 40% lower blood glucose levels compared to their starting amounts. Remember the chart, the light gray area. Surprisingly, even after five days, the tree, after the treatment ended, the mice showed a 60% reduction, going from 40 to 60, in blood glucose compared to their starting levels. This effect could arise, remember being hypothetical, this effect could arise from the ability of the delivery system to prolong the release of the extract over an extended period of time, the researchers say, or hypothesize. All right, now we're gonna go to the abstract and I'll read you this kind of fast, but it's important because there's a lot of, lot of important details in the abstract itself. To proceed as follows, with aniacoagulins is an Indian medicinal herb, the natural extracts of which are purported to have health benefiting properties. In this study, the extract was encapsulated in nature derived polymers with the aim of enhancing its bioavailability. The aqueous extract obtained from the plant with aniacoagulins was found to elicit the glucose lowering effects by means promoting insulin secretion from pancreatic B cells. The cells treated with the extract showed a nearly two fold increase in insulin secretion compared to untreated cells. 
A delivery system for the extract was developed based on electrosprayed ketosan nanoparticles coated with food starch. That's a natural substance. The bioactivity of the encapsulated extract was subs subsequently tested in vitro on mouse-derived pancreatic B cells, whereby the delivery system was found to promote insulin secretion. Finally, the extract encapsulated or delivery system was tested on diabetic mice and was validated to decrease blood glucose levels by 60%, as shown from the graph prior. In summary, it could be inferred that food grade enteric coated polysaccharide based particles increase the bioavailability of the extracted compounds from the plant with anticoagulants. Uh, real fast, People always ask, well, how many? Remember, animal models don't uh, animal dosaging doesn't translate linear to human dosaging. But just the same, this is the information in regard to the dosaging as P4 being the, the with uh, administered, uh, how it was administered, per se, or the compound itself. So there it is. Now, keep in mind, too, the DOI citation will be listed, obviously, on the YouTube channel. So you may follow it to the full study, which I always appreciate the full study being published as well as the abstract. However, do not confuse it with other withania type herbs per se. We're looking at withania coagulans. And so that's something you wanna focus on and it's easy to confuse with other things such as ashwagandha. So to proceed as follows, DOI citation will be listed. Incredible, incredible blood glucose uh, improvements in a very short period of time with withania coagulans. So a lot of observational data from cultural use has, or looks like it is being currently validated. Again, this is Raptor Channel signing off. Look forward to see you all once again in the next seven days. Thank you very much for listening. And as always, again, well, I'll catch you next seven days. See you guys in a bit, bye.